Yes, sir. It's that time of day. It is that time. You thought you thought I wasn't going to upload a recap? No, no, no. I'm getting it done. I'm getting it done. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to another Mighty Recap. My name is Marcelo, or Mighty, or M. Some people have started started calling me M in the chat room, and I kind of like it. So I could be M now uh, because of Marcelo and Mighty. You know, M. Um, in any case, welcome into another recap. Today is definitely a solid day. I am green, 523 bucks. I'll definitely take it, especially after having internet issues this morning. Um, but in any case, for anyone that's new, I am a full-time day trader, and today I'm going to do a little bit of a recap on you know how I managed to make 500 bucks here day trading in the stock market. Um, the way that these videos work is that they they are split they are split into three different sections. First, I'm going to run for a little bit. Second, I'm going to show you the stocks I traded, some of the setups I bought, and third, I have a nice live trading archive for you today. Nice one. I take a 7,000 share position on a half dollar breakout. You know, when whenever a stock is going super fast, it's ripping quickly, and, and you know, you think to yourself, where, where the hell am I supposed to get in? I mean, there's no pullbacks, there's no nothing. Where should I buy? Where should I buy it? And, you know, the answer to that question is half and whole dollars. Half and whole dollars are psychological levels of resistance. And the way you would trade those is the same way you would trade any other level of support and resistance. You go long anticipating the breakout of that resistance and you buy when that level of resistance becomes support. So you buy for the break of 50, you sell on the other side, take profit or hold, or, or hold if you're really confident in the stock. And then as it retests that level again, you buy the dip and off you go. Um, but in any case, I have a nice big trade. So let's get into it. Um, a little bit of a disclaimer, my results are not typical. Please make sure you trade in a simulator before you put your hard then money on the line. Okay, now let's get right into it. Please leave a like, subscribe, and um, do, all the, do all the fun stuff. So, okay, to begin the morning, I come here. I wake up at 5 a.m. I do my routine. I meditate. I, I, I you know, go to the gap scanners. I dial in my watch list. I dial in the daily levels. I do all this routine, you know, every day in the morning so that I can be ready to trade at 6.30. I live in the Pacific Standard Time, so for me, the market opens at 6.30. I'm like, I'm ready to go. I'm fired up. I've done my watch list. I've done my routine. I've done everything. And then, like, five minutes before the market opens, the internet is gone. I have no internet. I have nothing. I tried different devices. I tried, you know... Um, you know, I, I tried disconnecting, forgetting the Wi-Fi networks and reconnecting. I tried looking YouTube videos on my data mobile to see how I can fix it. But nothing was working. My internet was dead. And then I asked a friend that lives here and I asked him, hey, do you have internet? I wanted to make sure if it was an issue of me or an issue of of the internet. Um, and then he was like, no, I have no internet either. And I'm like, God damn it. So the inter internet is down. And then I have hopes that it's going to come at least 30 minutes into the open. So I keep checking every other 10, 20 minutes. I keep checking no internet. I keep checking no internet. And then I accepted that today I wasn't going to trade. And I'm like, you know what? It might be for the better. We are in a slow momentum. I'm going to take another day of rest, of going sideways. So, you know, the last thing I want to do is start trading with hotspot. And then, you know, I get caught on a big position on a slow day. It, it is not worth it. So I'm like, you know what? We have an opportunity here to be disciplined and not trade. So I go about my day. I start doing some chores chores in my apartment. And then out of nowhere, I see that my phone has the three bars of the internet connection around this time. G-O-E-V. Around this time. And I'm like, okay, we are live. We are very live. I fired up my laptop. You know, if nothing, if nothing was moving, if nothing was moving, I wasn't going to force the trades just because I couldn't be here for the first move and for the open. But regardless, I fire up my computer and I'm like, okay, let's see what I missed. It looks like it, it looks like for people that were actually trading the open, there was not a lot of action. It was choppy the open. It was weak. There was not an obvious stock. Um, all of my watches was fading. So I'm like, okay, I guess I guess I didn't miss that much. I did miss the first kind of like the first leg here of GOEV, but this one I was I was able to trade it on this little like second leg. Um which which is why I'm up five hundred dollars. Um in any case I come in and I'm like okay let's start slow. 
I don't want to I don't want to be compensating just so, just because of the fact I missed this, just because of the fact they didn't trade for the first hour, hour and a half. The start slow, and if you start connecting, let's increase size. That's like what I did. I got green in some trades. I was maybe green like 50, 100, 100, 150. And then like okay, this thing is opening up, and then here's the here's the trade that I took that was big. It was I think right here 450. Four fifty, um, and there was a gigantic seller, and the trade was is that the trade that I took was that when I saw that seller on the ask on the level two getting eaten up, you know that seller went from a hundred thousand shares to ninety thousand, to fifty thousand, twenty thousand, ten thousand, and you know as I saw as I saw that the green was coming in with more you know more fiercely and with more rapidness, I just started. Clicking my hotkey, boom, 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 and I, I believe I was buying like maybe two thousand shares at a time, and maybe I clicked it like three times. But like boom, 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 we're about to go, we're about to go. You know, I like, I was liking the green, I was liking how the, that volume was coming in, I was liking how that the seller was becoming smaller. Boom, 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 accumulated seventy five hundred shares, and then we get the breakout. It wasn't the biggest breakout, maybe four cents a breakout. I take it all off the table, and just like that, I was up on the stock, like four hundred dollars. And then, you know, I proceed to get bigger into the green. I go up to a high of 650. And then I give um, I give 150 off the top on this flush right here. And it's kind of lame because I didn't get caught on the flush, but I got I got caught trying to catch the falling knife. I bought and the, at the low of this candle didn't didn't bounce. I bought at the low of this candle didn't bounce. And you know, I took two flushes, anticipating the bounce. And then at this point, I didn't bought, and it did kind of like bounce, but it, not even that much. So I kind of like botched that trade. Um, and you know, it's kind of like an instinct at this point that I just see a big flush and I just buy. Um, so I, I kind of my instincts kind of screwed me, screwed me over there. I need to be careful because, you know, okay, okay, I'll, I'll admit it. I averaged down again. But it was kind of like instinctual because I bought here, I bought here like 500 shares and then I bought here 500 more, or maybe a thousand shares and then I bought here a thousand more because I'm like, this has to be the bottom. And then at least I quickly stopped out the moment we broke the low of this candle. This is, this is something that I, re I, this is the second time I'm doing this and I really don't like it. I really don't like it. You know, this happened so quick that it's kind of like hard for me to say that it was a conscious decision. It was more like an instinctual decision. But I don't want this to be an instinctual decision ever. So I need to be very strict because of that. Um, you know, I don't want to be doing this ever. In any case, that's that. G-O-E-V is that one. C-L-N-N. I took this trade. I tried at least. Oh my God, look at this. But I try to take a high day breakout somewhere in here, power hour, maybe right here. But it was just choppy. It didn't have a lot of volume. The level two was weepy, spready, and I saw a loss. Again, trading with small size to protect to, to protect my profits. Goss, I believe I'm green on this on a dip. On a dip somewhere in here at the bottom, right here, only with 100 shares. You know, I didn't like this stock. You know, I didn't want to risk too much. So I just bought 200 shares, maybe in one of these candles. And, you know, I was up 20 cents because it bottomed out and then it curled. But, um, you know, not the biggest trade there. Wow. In any case, let's take a look at that. Um, the live trading archive. The archive, the archive, the archive. All right, so as I said, I was small green at first, you know, seeing how it's gonna move. And then here, there's a bunch of sales there at 50, right? I think it was the break of 50, maybe I was wrong, but I, I do think it was the break of 50, the one I, I went big on. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. So watch this. Wait a second, I don't like this, wait. I don't like this media player, I'm gonna change it, so read that disclaimer again. Uh, just give me one sec. Uh, 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 
open with Okay. Again, please, reminder, leave a like, subscribe. Why wouldn't you leave a like? I mean, I'm showing you, I'm showing you the ways. In any case, um, let's see that break of 50. That's a nice, nice trade. All right, let's see. So I know that 50 is a couple of things. 50 is a psychological level, a psychological level of resistance. 50 is high of day right now. And 50 is a place where I see a lot of stacked sellers. And you know, if I see sellers, it's like kind of like a wall stopping the stock to go higher. If I see that, if I see that wall getting taken down, we're not only going to break through high of day, but we're also going to break to break through the psychological level of 50. That's why I really like it. And then, and, and then, you know, having big sellers is sometimes, sometimes even a good thing because you get a chance you get a chance to take a trade and to take a step. Sometimes if there's no sellers, this thing could literally rip all the way to 460. And if you're long already, that's great. But if you're not long, kind of like the sellers, make this, the stock a little slower so you can, and gives you the opportunity to jump in. So I maybe attempted it a few times before it went, but let's see. Oh, here, here we go. Okay, now look at that. Look at that. So, Okay, there's 450 with some green. I like it. I'm long 2,500 shares. Watching. Watch this. There's 31,000 right here. And 27,000 here and 21,000. Watch. More green. The seller is coming down. One seller that was down here is gone. Now this is a 29. So I double. And then, you know, the sellers are gone now. I punch it a, a third time. Um... Let's do that again. Watch, there's some green. Watch for more green. I want to see the sellers become smaller. Another long. Watch. And then this this looks like I'm buying on the other side of the breakout, but I am already long at a 49. It's just that you know I'm executing off of that, so Tinker Stream takes a little longer to to show. In any case, I'm long 2,500 shares, 7,500 shares at 449. 449, 78, which is 450. And then we get the breakout there. And I sold at 452. Or at least that's the feel I got. Which, you know, two cents on that type of share size is still a nice gain. Um, and then I go for the dip. I go for the dip. Oh my God. Okay, now I didn't realize this. I didn't realize that my share size was set at 7,500. Because in my mind, remember, I was buying with 2,500. So in my mind, whenever that position, when, when I closed that position, my or, my share size would have went back to 2,500. So I guess I didn't realize that. So I'm long 7,500 shares. And um, there you go. That's the, man, damn. That's why I lost so much on that first one it just goes to show that you know on sickly traders tra traded stocks you can really increase the share size then I take another you know I continue to kind of like chop around a little I take a ni nice dip somewhere in here I'm going to show you that um, right here so I'm buying off of support of eight of 450 you know, smaller size because I'm not as confident with the um, dip buys. And, you know, because I'm not as confident with dip buys and I don't want to get chopped out. I want to I wanna have small size so that, I don't, so that I'm not fa antsy. And I don't want to be like, okay, break or I'll bail out. It needs to go right now. Or if, if it doesn't go, I'm out. You know, so I go small size so that I can really let the chart play out. And, um, you know, with 500 shares, that's not a, that's not a, that's not a, um, terrible win. And then I believe I sell half there as we break 459 and then I sell the rest. I guess I could have held all the way to half day, but, um, I didn't do that. 
In any case, I continue to go higher, and then I give it all back on that flush. Not not all back. I give a I get a nice haircut on that flush. But um, that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. Um, thanks for tuning in, even even after posting a, a late recap. Hope you guys ho hope you guys did well. Um, and to be honest, if you're red today, don't be too discouraged. Don't be too hard on yourself because this was a tough day. I mean, it's a miracle that I'm green because, you know, you know, I could have, um, I could have, if my, if my internet was working since the morning, I could have easily dug myself a hole being aggressive on a choppy morning, a choppy open. And then by the time this came, I wouldn't be, you know, making profits. I would just be my, I would just be digging myself out of the hole. I mean, you never know. Or maybe I could have made some profits in the morning and then this would be a thousand dollar day. Who knows? But what I'm saying is that we are in a very slow market. There's not a lot of momentum. There's not a lot of follow throughs. Follow through. The breakouts are lackluster. We are breaking out by one two cents in places that we should be ripping at least five to ten cents. So it's definitely harder. This is a tough market. If you can go, if you can stay flat or have a small red day, that's a win, and you're doing something good right there. So again, don't be too discouraged on yourself. Just continue to tread water, continue to go sideways, because this is not the market to make it or break it. This is a tough market for sure. Um, in any case, I'm gonna do it for the recap. Take it easy, everybody. Till tomorrow for um, Wildcard Friday. I mean, honestly. This is Friday is supposed to be very slow because we're in a slow market and it's Friday. So, you know, the logic says that we are supposed to have a slow day. And because because that's what the logic says, that's exactly you know, that exact thing won't happen. Just because of that, I feel like we ha we might have a crazy wildcard wildcard Friday tomorrow. So, you know, definitely going to be prepared. Um we're going to come in with the bias. Maybe start with small size is the right approach and then call it a day or once you are green just just sacrifice the green don't go back to red you know once you're green you should never be going back to red um in any case that's gonna do it take it easy people adios